Here we go. Hey. Hey. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. One, two, three. <laughs> it doesn't matter the order. All you get is one, two, three, you're up, up, up. Jamaica, touch, touch, touch. Hey. <laughs> yes, folks, we're back again. You know how it is. It's Robert Esme, a.k.a. the Speed Doctor Gold Medalist. And to my left is... David Payne, a.k.a. Deep Payne TV Olympic Silver Medalist. What's good, everybody? Yes, we're back. We're back. We're black and we're back. Black Lives Matters. <laughs> <laughs> all day, all day. Yes, let's talk about this drama coming into the pre phone tank. Tell me about your preview of the 100 meter, what went down. Uh, man, ah. Honestly, I was shocked, um, not by Shakari not winning. I was shocked that Elaine pulled away from Shelly so much. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I felt like Shelly had a little bit more in her. But, man, um, I totally knew that Shakari was not going to win. You know what I'm saying? Shakari. Um, I, I just feel like anyone who, who knows the history of track and field knows that regardless of what you did at Olympic trials, a month later, where these women have had at the least three extra rounds, at the most six extra rounds to run in three um, races to get to the 100 meter final and three races to get to the 200 meter final. And I think she did the best that she could um, because it's not easy to even run 11 1 or 11 0. Oh. I mean, we're so used to them running sub 11 that we're just like, oh, 11 this and sub 11 that. But I'm not gonna say I'm proud of her, but I just think that if she was just a little bit more. Um, uh, calm and smooth on her, on her, um, you know, her, her media, uh, like how she does her, her speaking sort of. engagements. Yeah. yeah. It would be accepted better because I mean, honestly, people wanted to see her in the mix. Um, and, and I think that she still has it. I mean, I don't, I don't know what she's doing for the rest of her season. Um, I just would like this, whatever she does, just make it sure that it's on the track. Like, just go, just go get on the track and do what you got to do. She knows what to do. She, I mean, my back, I, I still, I still, I'm for Shakari, but I mean, 1054, Jesus Christ. That's crazy, Elaine. She's out here rolling, rolling. And I mean, all the Jamaican women, 1050, 1070, 1080, they out here. Excellent. Now, there we go. Who's <laughs> dirty, mighty, mighty. Hey! Jamaica, where you Where you at? Listen, folks. Yo, that's how they talking, came through. You're talking, some, you know, when Shakari, Shakari, whatever the hell you want to call her name, I call it what the hell I want to call it. <laughs> Shakari, Shakaka, whatever, you know, the little <laughs> mighty mouse, you know, the, the, the vocals. I love it. It's great for the sport. It's great for entertainment. It's great for her sponsors. to making money, you know, uh, lifting up herself. But there's also, there's something called respect. Respect your peers. You can do it in a clean and uh, rivalry type of scenario. You don't have to be nasty. It's not a boxing match. Because at the end of the day, them girls will black the, smack the black off a little ass on the track, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm Jamaican, it does go one, two, three, surrounded like a diamond. <laughs> hey, y'all, where I going with? Where I going with? Wake up, you know? So, they, but they're doing with the feet. Non-violent, non-violent. But, but listen, but they're doing with the feet. Listen, <laughs> you, you gotta realize. That's a fact, that's a fact. You gotta realize here, you know, the Jamaican girls are murdering people around the world right now. They're bandit right now. They're running hot, <laughs> you know? So it don't matter who, it's like you, you walk True. into that family, and that family has eight, nine people deep, and you're one of them little dumbass kids in the neighborhood decide you're gonna mess with them. Guess what happened? All of them coming for your little ass. <laughs> I smacking you from left to right. So at the end of the day, Shikari, I'm disappointed that you didn't perform at that level. 1150 or whatever the hell may be, <clears throat> and under 10 seconds, based on your ability. There shouldn't have been no excuse. 11. You've been off for a month, right? Drug free, oh, well, no, no weed in your system, hopefully, right? You've been off for a month. You're with some of the fastest training group out there. Dennis Mitchell's your coach. 
um, Viat Lens, your training partner, all these guys that are fast to keep you tuned. Guys, if I was off for a month, I'm telling you, I'm racing these boys and fine tuning. So as soon as I hit the track, I can just smack the block off of those guys and say, hey, I'm Shakari. I told you you missed me. We didn't miss you. Hello, you're like Donald Trump right now. We ain't missing you, <laughs> right? We ain't going to give you no prime time. But the amazing work, a body of work, uh, Eileen, the Jet Thompson, right? Shelly, the Rocket Pocket, and uh, Sharika, been putting on for the last four or five weeks. It's unbelievable. Things we haven't seen yet, and I'm sure they ain't done yet, you know, but absolutely, this little Shikari needs to step her game up and have some mannerism, you know, especially I hear the grandparents have a Jamaican roots. I'm telling you, man, the grandpa needs to be around and give a little ass open and wake a little ass up. Straight out Jamaican style. <laughs> you know, what the hell wrong? Shit, but, uh, my, thing, my, uh, my, my, thing, <laughs> my thing is this, like, if she was running well, she could talk as much shit as she wanted to. Talk Hold on, stuff. deep end. Oh. This is what I say. This is what I said to Shakari. <laughs> Listen, knock your booty, but oh my God. Get... Hey. Hey, who's this? What we got here? Hey, 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 are you ready? There's a, there's a juvenile. <laughs> Back it up! Back it up! Yes, he <laughs> Hey, yeah. so so I, I agree, I agree with what you're saying. I do think she needs she needed to be in more races, but with the equivalent of training with Dennis Mitchell and training with Justin Gatlin and uh, whoever her training partners are, I'm not sure if she trains with Oliver or Tania Daniels, but I think she trains with one of them. Um, in my opinion, though, I still think she needs to have gotten a couple of races, which it would have been impossible because the, after you don't make the Olympics, at the Olympic trials, everything stops until the Olympics. So you're basically on your own with no track meets to come back and run against these people who've done all this stuff at the highest level possible. So, I mean, you can see it in Trayvon Bramell. You can see it in Justin Gatlin. They just don't have what these people have when they come back from the Olympics because they're less the, the, the races that they had to go through. They're still That's running right. at, at a good, right. He, like Justin Gatlin's still running sub 10. He's just not running nine, seven, which is the difference. Yeah. <laughs> now, you know, the man hundred. I was not surprised. My guy, my guy, my Canadian, my swagging, my calm, relaxing, my prime time, the chosen one, whatever you want to call him. Andre de Grasse, kick some ass, right? He tore up the grass, tore up everybody along the way. He did, he did. And my surprise was what happened to the rest of the field? That's a world-class field that's been running nine eights they were like again they were like four the same thing. Like, hello uh, the grass hey, are I'm, you coming I, i'm trying to coming? tell you uh, it, again it's the same thing bro uh, there were only a few people who actually went to the olympics in that race those people ran well the people who didn't go to the olympics are still running what they ran at olympic trials that's a fact kevin uh or uh fred curley yeah, I thought he. I thought that he would have ran faster. He still ran. I think he ran nine eighty. Um, I think that uh, under the grass, I expected him to win because he was the class that was at the Olympics outside of uh, Fred Curley. Ronnie Baker also ran well. Those three guys were at the Olympics. Uh, Trayvon Bromel, he even ran a decent time, but it just not was not on the level that the guys ran coming back from the Olympics. So great job under the grass. I'll call him Canadian. <laughs> Andre, I you, Andre, but you gotta be Andre, ready, man. Andre. Now, <laughs> you know, I give it to him. He deserves when we look it. Look over to the man's 200. I, I was excited um, to see Lyle back into his his form. Yes, sir. So, yes, um, sir. Coming out, he's got the swag, he got everything. Yeah, he put it down. So, yeah, Lyle, what an unbelievable <laughs> um, to see the energy, to see what I'm used to the, the, the Lyle, the fun, the playing, the in the fit shape. Lyle putting it down together is 19.5 yep. something. It was great to see yep. that. 52. Um, yeah, the performance yep. of everybody else was, it was, it, they delivered in the 200. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to say the lucky Andre didn't run the two as well. <laughs> Woo! It would have been. Well, he would have got smoked if he did. So <laughs> we're going to always go back and forth like that. But 
I agree with you, man. I feel like if, if Noah Lyles could have had this energy, and I don't mean the like the cool, like like that, but the like he was he was relaxed. Like I didn't sense what I sensed at Olympics and Olympic trials. I felt like the, the anxiety of going to get a medal was done. He's amongst people, he's amongst the Americans that he always thrashes. So, you know, his little brother was in, his little brother who's his, his training partner is also in the race. So he's mad comfortable. He's got the lane that he wants. He's mad comfortable. So, or closest to the lane that he wants. And he did his thing. Um, I think uh, Benaric also ran well. He, yeah. he, I mean, these guys went to the Olympics. Here we go again. They came back and they ran well. Um, it was good to see like Justin Gatlin in there and um, other people in there. But I'm just saying like, we know what it is. I mean, they're just a half step behind. It's like when you when you come out your season and you're slightly a little bit late on the season and you're trying to catch up to everybody else. And it's just it's just hard to do. So but man, not 19 five. That's that's a great time. I mean, and and, and shout out to um, Joseph, Joseph, Josephus, Josephus Lyles. He PR with 20.03. That's not sub 19. But for him, that's great. Yeah. And the women's 200, what a performance. I enjoyed yeah. everything of it, you know. Um, I love the battle. I love the underdog rising to the top, you know, edging yep. up uh, the great Gabby Thomas. What was your yep. opinion on that 200-meter woman? I was shocked. Um, I can't remember what her name is, Kambunji or Mabunji. I can't remember, but I do remember her at Olympics. I do remember her. Um, so I've seen her around. Um, she's always in the mix, but she's like a Talu or she's like a, a, a you know, um, a Hore. Knocking on and, the door. Yeah, she's always knocking on the door. So what, what I would just say is um, I think Gabby is one of the most well-deserved Olympic medalists from America. I think you could tell that some of the Americans who did go over in medal are starting to go downhill. And that's, that's not a negative. That just... Uh, you know, goes to show how much they put, how much work they put in uh, on the on the upside, and um, I think some of them are just tired. Like I think I think Mo, she was like, I'm I'm done for the year. You know, I think some of them are just are just like that. And I don't, I'm not gonna say she's done, but you can see even with how Physically, she started, Dana Asher Smith. Yeah, if it, they're, they're 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 just run down. Like like I, she runs the 200, one of the hardest on the curve that I've ever seen, right off the gun. Dana Asher Smith ate her up on the curb. And you can see Mambuji come out the corner, like, where the hell did this girl come from? And that was like out of lane two. So they uh, and and shout out to Allison Felix for wow. trying to step down. Oh, let me let me go back real quick. Shout out to Michael Norman in the 100. He came down from the 400 and he ran 990. Woo. So yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so overall, I really enjoyed the pre thing. I thought uh, they did a great job, the setting. The environment, we know the tracks fast. Um, everything about it was awesome. Um, but yes, I would have liked to see a little bit more coverage on the Jamaican trios, the bandits that are killing people everywhere that go. Yeah, they out here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's a question. The, the here's a question of, real quick. The weapon of choice is speed. <laughs> hey, let them. me ask you a question. If Elaine ran the 200, mm -hmm. what do you think she would have ran? If she felt freshish, she probably would have easily probably run maybe a 21, 39 or something like that, right? Okay. But um, yeah. with the season so long now, it's mm -hmm. about maintaining and getting. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I. You know, because to to run those personal best weekend after <laughs> back to back to back, absolutely. One of the it's advantages. Gonna take a toll on your body. <laughs> one of the advantages that they have is that the thrill keep pushing each other knowing that they run I it up potential yep. could win one i put and that fueling the the maintenance stage going to the last few meets right to right. see oh maybe i can steal one out so it's not necessarily uh it's time it's like maybe i can i can get one on the record instead of nine to five now it's nine to four or next or you know maybe uh um uh, um third place sharika uh, sharika Shari maybe you can say hey Maybe I can get one of the victory out of there. Make it right. spicy right. again. Make it exciting again. So absolutely, exactly. that's what's going on. And I'm looking forward to see. Hey, I'm going to put it out there. Sharika, listen up, baby girl. I think you got one in, in the bag. 
Maybe it's a Diamond League Finals, you win it, but I think you got one in there. Save it for that right moment, all right? Mm -hmm. And then, boom, bust it open, baby. I'm going for you, girl. I saw your interview the other day. Yeah, yeah. You're having a good time. I love that. I love that. We need more of that on our Instagram. You've got a great personality that can shine. Show me a little bit more on, on the IG over there once again. Yes, Sharika. Wool it down. Uh, uh. Murder them. <laughs> now, <laughs> let's leave North America a little bit and go over to the pond. The plane just dropped in Switzerland. Zoo. All right. So um, give me a thought. The man's 400 meter. What did you expect? Um, my man coming off the hurdles were open flat. Listen, I'm going to say the 400 end up flat <laughs> for him. <laughs> you know, he man. fell flat. 45 something when you run a faster four hurdles it went flat what do you think happened give me a thought on that 400 meter my theory my theory is the same a lot of a lot of the people who killed the olympics they're going downhill now granted i mean it was a different race he didn't have hurdles you could you might think that would be an easier race yeah. i don't know they're both really hard as hell um and he has the world record in one of them so i just think that he just was well, exactly what you said he fell flat um shout out to will london though i mean they all i mean they he, he out of lane eight too he fought for that um that was an amazing race but i mean and to be running for your life with carson in lane seven so that's that's an amazing race but i'm not shocked i mean when you do amazing things you need to let your body rest you cannot come back uh we'll revisit this here when we talk about the women's 400 hurdles because it'll yeah. be the same thing it's like you don't, you can't, you, you're running out of steam. You can only hold greatness for so long, then you need to recover. So that was, that's how I feel about that. All right, since you're touching it, go ahead with the women's 400 meter hurdle. S same thing, man. Okay, so of course we got Delilah Muhammad in there. We've got Shamir Little, we've got Femke Bowl, and you know, the, the, the rest of the field, but the class was those three ladies. And the, Delilah Muhammad burst out of there, you know, like a bullet, like she always does, ran that first. I'd say 150 meters, and then you started to see the the all of the all of the meats jump on her. We call it the the that monkey jump on your back when you hit that 200 and you get a little slower. So, but yeah, she hit that she hit that 200 300 meter mark, and you just seen her hit a wall, and you seen the other ladies actually go past her, and you knew right there, okay, like she's not injured or anything. She's just she's just going downhill from here because she's ran such a high level for a while. But Femke Bo, she's still rolling. So so also what my theory is, the people who didn't do the people who didn't get the best medals or barely get medals fourth, third, fourth, fifth, those people are still rising up because they were trying so hard to catch the first, second, third people. And the first, second, third people are going downhill because they've held it for so long, and and maybe they're still going, but. I, how long can they hold it? That's why these hundred meter races are so exciting because Shelly, Elaine, Sharika, they're, they're going back and forth and you're going to need that to press the time as you go further in the season. So um, I, I, Femke Bowl ran a great race. Shamir Little also fell off too. I would think she would have had more energy not going to the Olympics, but it is what it is. So, but it was, a, it was another great race again. Well, with the men's uh, 110 um, in Lausanne, you know, we expect Peachman to be at least in the medal. Didn't happen. One of your favorite American guy came through. Give me your thoughts and feedback on the 110 hurdles. So, so Lausanne, Switzerland is actually where I broke my femur. My, one of my, well, my last, one of my last races. Um, but I love that track. It's, it's, it's always a great crowd. And I ran against Hansel Parchment at that track, <clears throat> which is crazy. So, and um, my thing is this. The hurdles without Omar McLeod and uh, Grant Holloway, I feel like it's, it's a toss up. Anybody can win, even with Hansel Parchment, even with Ronald Levy. Like, I, I would think I would pick Ron over Hansel. It just so happened that it didn't happen that way in the Olympics. And Hansel will come and take something from you. But I wouldn't say necessarily he's always there, like going to win every race. Yeah. So. Um, I wasn't sure who was going to win the race. And I was actually shocked that Devin, Devin Allen won the race. Not to say that I didn't have him in the top three, but I just didn't feel it was just a toss up. Was, you know, you had Martin, Martin Legall, Martin Legall in there. He's not running as well as he could, but you know, you just, you just didn't know who was going to do what, but 
Great job to Devin Allen. Uh, he still ran 13 1309. Yeah, always, if your consistency in that lock almost every meet, they always put your chance in the top three if you're consistent. And yep. yes, he's been consistent running uh 13 ones or a little bit faster or here and there in 13 0, right? So that consistency uh put him into that podium in that right place at the right time. But guess what? The Olympic wasn't the right place at the right time for that consistency uh to be in that spot, you know. But um absolutely you know once again i'm going back to the 100 we'll wrap this up again with the 100 meter lausanne the 100 meter the the mom the rocket pocket we had and once again you know she had a good three yards on elaine thompson that was too far it was <laughs> right? just too that, far man too far because don't forget, oh my god she still have a top end speed but if she can catch the start with the top end Elaine will run out of real estate like you just saw what happened. So if Elaine is maybe a yard, yard and a half away, and Shelly can run that 1060, and Elaine got that yard, yard and a half can close, you're definitely going to see a world record <laughs> because she is able to move with a different velocity, horsepower. She's got a little bit of extra Mustang. 3.0575, uh, whatever, up in that little gluteus maximus and that little hamstring to pull up. Don't forget, she's about 5.7. She's five, so eight, small. Yeah, right? she's tiny. And she's only yeah. about 5.1-ish. Uh, so you've got that 8-inch difference, right, to make up. And then remember, every step, if you can hit that 8-inch, eight 8-inch, eight inch, you're, you're talking real estate, folks. She's talking monopoly. She's going to buy up the whole goddamn thing and win up everything. So having that, and if she get that start, or even with Shelly Ann coming out the blocks, so if you can just tie Shelly Ann at 0 to 40, uh-oh, it's over. Shelly won't know what to do. But once again, the amazing performance from those Jamaican squad, you know, they're coming in every competition. They're ready to battle, win, lose, or shine. They're willing to give their 100%. Um, even if it's ugly, they're still going to perform, right? That's, that's, I, I think to say, I, I think re, regardless with or without uh, Shakari Richardson, the women's 100 meter dash is still the most anticipated race right now. Yeah. Um, and I think that most certainly Flojo's record is, is very scared right now because with Shelly Ann Frazier running 10-6, if Elaine Thompson was in that was in that um, Olympic race with her 10 six, that 10 forty nine is whew, close to being gone. Yeah. So if they can keep that up, I'm well, excited to see know, it. A, this a is 10, the year for it to be broken. The way I see it, if Shelly Ann, whatever me coming up, if Shelly Ann can do what she just did, and Elaine can be par with her for forty. You're gonna yep. see at ten forty four. Yeah, because it lanes when it let when that when it stretch out. I mean, I think it's gonna take Shelly to get out and run ten six, and Elaine to be with her in order for her to okay when she pulls away. Now oh. she's entering Fl yeah. Flojo Lane. Yeah, that's it right there. I, I want to see the last thirty days. Let's keep going back and forth. Like, hey, I, I, I tell you what, uh -huh. I tell you what, <laughs> ain't gonna be no this. It ain't gonna be no this. She gonna have to <laughs> run through that line. <laughs> Fast feet. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Yeah, man. Well, definitely, yeah, man. Uh, DP, it's always a pleasure having you. And let's, yes, sir. Uh, let's give you one of this to, 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 to wrap uh -oh. up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. What's this? What's this? All right. Let's close them out. Oh. Make me proud. <laughs> Here we go. Green. Big up the Jamaican girls. People are rock and come in. Tell me your cuttings. Yeah. Represent the place. Hands are furious. Flags are furious. Light us. From a Jamaican flag. Light us up. Jamaica, Jamaica. Oh, my reggae, reggae, nice and make Nobody watching us can know. Yes, Shakari. Put down the Jamaican weed and pick up the speed. And as a Jamaican says, Shakari, you gotta back that shit up with your speed. Leave it on the track. 
And when you get that popping, you can pop open your mouth so they can come and slap it right now. Yeah. 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 That's right, folks. Jamaica, Jamaica. Don't forget, book your resort, book your, your time, share book, whatever. Let's go to Jamaica and just be covered free and have a, a good time. DP, you can join us in the adult section in Jamaica where everything hey, is naked and we I just stand, I, around. I, I stand by Shikari. That's my, I stand by her, but Jamaica yeah, all you, day. Yes, I, I want to stand by her. Yeah, I'm on Jamaica <laughs> with love. <laughs>